What's going on guys, Lucas here from Skyred ERC, and today we got something pretty cool for you. We got the Cobra and Cobra Light 5 inch racing frames, and we're going to tell you what sets these apart from everything else on the market. Stay tuned. So in front of us we have here a Cobra and Cobra Light and what really sets these frames apart is the channel lock system and what that is is the aluminum plate here you got one of those on the front and the rear that locks into the arm and the bottom plate as you can see it comes all the way down through to the bottom plate and it secures the arms to the frame with just one screw so you take one screw out take your arm out and replace it that's how quick you can replace an arm. Not only does it offer a very easy, easy to work on frame, it's extremely durable because that aluminum plate is not going anywhere. It's not allowing the arm to flex. And unlike some other frames that use an aluminum plate that extends from the front to the rear, all one piece, these are two piece. So you have one for the front, one for the rear. And what the two piece design does, it allows the frame to flex at the carbon plate here in a crash so you your uh, carbon plate absorbs all of that energy and it can twist and flex as needed whereas the solid aluminum piece going from the front to the rear um, if you have too much energy transferred to something like that it's just going to bend the aluminum and in most cases that uh, bend in the aluminum um, requires you to completely replace that piece and um, you know, you have to go through your stack, you have to have more maintenance when something like that happens. Um, but these in a crash, the part that flexes is your carbon bottom plate and your arms, your stack stays intact. Uh, it's really one of the most durable frames out on the market right now because of that design. So what we're going to do for you is go through the build of the Cobra. So what you get in the package when you get one of these guys is you get a three millimeter thick bottom plate you get a two millimeter thick top plate you get four five millimeter thick arms you get two aluminum CLS plates and that's what they look like from the side view so the arm slides in there it's captured by the front the middle and the back channel there you also get in the package four 25 millimeter long aluminum standoffs you get four three by ten millimeter screws four three by sixteen millimeter screws and you get all the TPU parts here so you get the camera mount you get the stubby mount SMA connector you get the antenna mount and then you also get these camera bushings for the camera mount here so you can see through the side of that camera mount it's got a square opening kind of angled there and what that is is for the camera bushings. so the camera bushings are flange so they have a flange on one side you push them in from the outside and once you get them into the camera mount you can see that they have an offset hole there so you can rotate this whichever way you need um, to get your camera aligned with the front of the camera mount so we did that so you can have more flexibility to run a long camera or a short camera uh, some of the run cams and the Foxier Aero Micro are really short so you would run the front hole in that case and then the um, some of the Foxier Predator cameras I think are also longer they have a little bit longer lens so in that case you might want to run the hole in the rear position so we just designed that to allow you uh, more flexibility to mount your camera and uh, we, we felt that that was the best way to go there. So also in the package you get uh, some antenna tubes. These come just as one piece. Uh, we have them pre-cut right now just for the sake of the video. And you also get the antenna caps that will go on the end of the antenna tubes just like that. So that's everything you get in the frame. 
To assemble this frame, all you're gonna need is a two millimeter Allen driver and a 1.5 millimeter Allen driver, as well as some blue medium thread lock. Okay, so very easy to assemble. We'll get started for you. And the bottom plate, just as a note, has a the single triangular cutout indicates the front. So the first thing we'll do is take one of our CLS plates and just install it onto the bottom plate like so. And you can see the channel that's inside there. The arm will sit in that channel. You'll just slide the arm in until you get it lined up, just like that. and then slide the other arm in. You can see how simple that goes in. And once again, held just by one screw per arm. So for the arms, you'll wanna take a three by 16 millimeter screw and go in from the bottom. And what I like to do is I like to add some thread lock just to the top of the plate here until that goes down in there. That way I don't get thread lock you know, in the carbon and then in between the bottom and top plate around the bottom and the arm, and we'll thread the screw in. We don't want to tighten these all the way just yet. So you get that first one just about all the way in, and then you'll put your second screw in. And just a little bit of thread lock on the top of the plate to get in the threads. And again, we don't want to tighten these all the way just yet. We'll want to move on to the rear and repeat that process. So we'll take our second CLS plate, snap that in there, and then take an arm, slide in the arm, slide in the second arm, just like that. All right, so once you have those almost all the way in, you want to just make sure the arms are seated and then press on the bottom plate and then press on the top of the CLS plate as you thread in the screws to the arms. So just like that, you'll get one tight, the other one tight, and then just give it one more final, final check. And then we'll do the same. We'll go back to the front and we'll do the same there. Give it one final check. All right, so then we'll take our three by 25 millimeter standoffs, our M3 by 25. We'll thread those on. So we can just get those about hand tight for now. And what we'll do is we'll prepare the camera mount. Now again, these bushings for the camera mount are directional, so make sure you put them in both, uh, either with the hole facing forward or with the hole facing back. And you'll notice that the bushings have they're not exactly square with the flange, so they have little cutouts on two of the opposing sides. And those cutouts are designed to fit into the camera mount here. So it'll only go one way properly and you'll be able to notice right away. So we're gonna go ahead and use the hole in the back position. And the best way to do this is to kind of get the front of it started, okay? So you'll start it in the front, you'll get that seated, and then you'll just press back And that makes sense, we have the bushing backwards. So we'll use our other one. And you'll notice that it'll, it'll be really, really, really hard to get the bushing in if it's backwards, so just double check. So 
once you get it in you'll hear that click and then it should be flush you want to look down the top of it there it should be flush with the side the inside of the camera mount we'll move on to our next one so you get the front started and just snap it in like that okay so that's our camera mount we'll get our rest of our TPU ready and again the single triangular cutout there points toward the front of the frame so we'll want to just go back in and kind of hand tighten our standoffs a towel makes it a lot easier you can grip the standoff better uh, you can use pliers if you want but I find that pliers tend to scratch the standoffs so if you really want to get it tight down on there you can use pliers first thing we'll do is we'll take our front triangular cutout our singular one we'll slide the camera mount down onto the frame there that is the front then we'll go to the rear we'll slide down first our antenna tube holder just like that and you want the the antenna tubes to face out toward the front and then we'll install our SMA stubby holder just to the top of the standoffs there where well, you can see it's just flush with the top then we'll take our top plate and drop it down onto everything we'll take our 3 by 10 millimeter, millimeter screws and just to drop a thread lock on those and again you want to keep these just about 90% tight until you get all of them in. It makes it a lot easier. You don't want to tighten down the first one all the way. Alright, so once you got all four screws in the top plate, you want to tighten them with a cross pattern. And then we can insert our antenna tubes into the holder in the back. And these have a these have a stopper in them so they will catch the antenna tube before it pushes all the way through so you don't have to worry about pushing too hard uh, you can make sure those are all the way in so once that's done it'll look something like that you want your antennas coming out kind of at a 45 degree angle there and we, we uh, did this installation here with the antenna tubes because it's the best of both worlds when you're upside down uh, you still have the antennas kind of in the middle of the frame so you can still get signal to uh, your your transmitter and back and forth um, and they're out of the way of the propellers as well so final step is to take the camera screws with the washers that are included and just thread them into the side of the camera bushing just like that just get them started Alright, so that's the Cobra frame from SkyReady RC. This is our red option TPU. We have eight different colors available for the TPU colors. So as you can see there, very nice looking frame, very durable, very easy to work on. Again, the arms come out with one screw uh, for easy field maintenance. And again, just the most durable arm capturing design out on the market right now with the CLS plate. Once you have that frame assembled, you can try to wiggle those and they're just not moving. We also have some options for the frames. We have canopies and top plate protectors. If you want to stick with the top plate, we have protectors for those as well as the turtle fin installation. So the way we design this is to have a little receptacle here on the top plate protector as well as the canopies.
where you can easily remove your turtle fin so it slides in just like that and then on the side here we have screw holes for 3 by 12 millimeter screws which are included and I'll kind of show you how that works on the frame here so you'll just take your top plate screws off so we'll just do one for now just to show you guys what it looks like so it's a TPU top plate protector and it's printed with the fin receptacle there so you can have not only protection for your antenna here so it comes back far enough to protect the SMA antenna and it also serves as a turtle mode fin so when you're upside down you get those back two propellers off the ground there so you have enough lift to do turtle mode successfully so that doubles as protection as well as a little bit more style and you also get your turtle mode fin so we have the top plate option there and then we also have our 3d printed canopies these look really nice they look like the shape of a cobra hood so if you look there you can see they look just like a cobra so these are available on our website as well as the top plate protectors we'll leave links below for these as well in the description and I'll show you what the canopy looks like that way you guys can compare it to the top plate protector and kind of see which one you like best so for the canopy you'll want to take your top plate completely off you'll want to take your camera mount and slide that off and you're going to want to remove the front two standoffs as well and the canopies do come with hardware so they come with a 3 by 20 millimeter screw as well as the nuts required to install them so you want to remove the bottom screws as well and replace those with the 3 by 20 millimeter included uh, canopy screws there what you want to do first is secure the canopy to the rear standoffs with the 3 by 10 millimeter screws included in your frame So once you have those on there, you can flip the frame over. And you'll want to just turn that screw in to where it's just past the top of that uh, ridge there on the canopy. So just like that. And then we'll take our canopy nut we'll install it there you can just hold it with your thumb as you tighten the screw from the bottom and then once you get it started as soon as it grabs the nylon part in the nut you'll want to back it off and then you'll kind of feel the screw tighten down and once you feel that, you want to grab it with pliers and then just reinstall the screw all the way in. And repeat that for the other side. So just get it started. Feel the screw bite into the lock nut. Back off the screw. And you'll feel it tighten down. And as soon as you feel that tighten down, grab the lock nut with a pair of needle nose pliers and then reinstall the screw. So when those are all installed you should see the screw goes just past the lock nut and that's what you kind of want to look for to uh, have a successful installation of your canopy on the front there so that's what the canopy looks like and we can add our turtle fin just like that so pretty nice looking canopy very secure 
not quite as rigid as the top plate but still just fine for flying and also gives you a nice cobra look to your frame with that cobra hood on the front there so very nice looking canopy very sturdy give you a nice look at it there all right there we have it guys the cobra all assembled and next to the cobra light we have eight different tpu options for the cobra and cobra light they're all in stock now and available exclusively at skyreadyrc.com We'll leave links down in the description for these frames if you guys want to go check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to see more videos just like this. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.